In this video, we'll have a look at creating a chart, and in this specific case, it's a line series that ignores blank cells. And I don't mean that it ignores them in terms of just plotting them on the y-axis. I mean that it actually also ignores them from being plotted on the x-axis. There are different approaches to this. So in today's video, I'm going to show you one set. And in the next video, I'll show you a way that you can set it up with dynamic formulas. Let's take a look at option one first. This is the manual approach. By manual, I mean it's basically some action, something that you have to do every time you get a new data set. This is our data set. That's how it comes in. These are the blanks that we have, and these are the blanks that we want to ignore. First of all, let's just insert a line chart and let's see how it looks on this existing data set. Okay, it doesn't look bad. It looks like a neat line chart, but take a look at the x-axis. What do you notice here? Do you see this date on the data table? It's not there. In this case, we want to skip. We want to go from here to here. We want to ignore this date. How does Excel do this? I mean, it's really smart that we just give it these dates and it's filling in the gaps. Is it also doing that here? Yeah, take a look at this, 13, 14, 15, and 16. How about if we filter this out? So what if we create an official Excel table out of this and hide the blanks? Would that work? Well, let's try it. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to go to Insert Table. And the table has headers, so we're fine with that. It's an official Excel table, so I can actually click on the date and say, don't show me blank cells. That also reduced my chart size. So if you don't want your chart to change its shape, you can do that in the properties section and select don't move or size with cells. So let's go with that. So I did filter it out, but what happened here? Nothing happened. Everything looks the same. It's still filling in the gaps for me. That filtering just seems not to work with these dates. What if I don't show these as dates? So let's take a look at our options here on the axis type options. So you see that's a data axis and Excel has automatically figured that out based on my data set. But what if I don't use that and I use a text axis? So it's translated these to text, which means it can't figure out what is in the middle of these missing text items, which is great, but it has messed up my whole line chart because it's still plotting them. Now comes the part where I can actually filter these ones out. And they're filtered out completely from the chart. Okay, so that's the manual way that you can hide blank cells, especially blank dates, in your line chart. So two steps. First step is turn your x-axis into a text axis. And the second step is convert your data table to an official Excel table and filter out the blanks. Now this step you just need to do once, right? But the other step of filtering out the blanks and so on, depending on how your data set comes in, this can be a manual process. So you add in data or you change this data, you have to turn it into an official Excel data table and then hide the blanks. So it's not a lot of work, but it could get annoying if you use this on a continuous basis. So the alternative approach to this is to make everything dynamic. In the next video, we'll have a look at the dynamic formulas approach. So if you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And for more of these videos, why not subscribe to my channel for updates when new videos like this one come out.